Hi there. Uh, this is Dr. Bill White again with the American Orthodontic Society. And I want to talk about a little more complicated intruding arch wire that's necessary to use sometime but not too often. Uh, you need to be able to do this. You will intrude the four anterior teeth while placing reverse torque in them and uh, you have to have a rectangular wire so here it says uh, a rectangular arch wire is necessary to use the four anterior teeth must be lined up to accept this wire so this takes a little while the reverse torque is added to this segment just the segment from lateral to lateral on the anterior along with the intruding force at the same time uh, don't let this uh, discourage you from using this this is not necessary in many of the cases but let's go in and show you what you have to do to do this uh, I'll have to get my little red dot going here. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> the intruding wire is exactly the same. Your regular part going in here, and you come down and circle, and you activate this, but you have, you put torque in it at the same time. Now, something I forgot to tell in the other deal. Once you get space enough in the arch for all the teeth to line up to get in there, you should come in and put some type of, in the arch wire that you're using in there, if you've used a spring, kind of a spring deal to expand, you just convert that into a tie back, and you come in and tie this arch wire back to the mower. Uh, I have a one here I'll illustrate some of that again. But the arch wire has to be tied back real tight. Then you don't have to worry about torquing them too much. You can just intrude them. They can't dump forward because they're tied back. To the whole arch is tied together in here. Now let me go to the next uh, picture here. This is not the regular wire, but here is a round wire that's in the mouth, and it is tied back, you see, tied to this motor. So you can squeeze these teeth together, and as you torque them, they can't dump out hardly any. So Oftentimes, you don't have to worry about coming in here and putting reverse torque in these four anterior teeth, uh, but tie the arch wire back. When you get enough space in here to line up the teeth, just tie it back. You don't want any more space. As you intrude, it tends to dump the teeth out, and you'll make there'll be space come in between them, and you don't need that now. All right, this is just a regular intruding arch wire, and it's tied back, you see, uh, on the other, so the teeth don't have to <coughs> have this torque too much. But sometimes you really have to put reverse torque, because as you intrude these teeth, the force is out here in front of them, and the teeth line up, and their roots are back in here somewhere, the roots of the teeth. So the point of rotation is along here on the root and you're out here in front of the rotation point so you tend to dump the teeth forward. It makes space in the arch as you line them up. So you don't want to dump them out any further than you have them. See? So you come in and put this tie back in here and that doesn't let the space increase so you don't have to torque it very much but sometimes you really 
need to get in here and torque these teeth and bring these roots forward in here. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Uh, I'm going to run through these slides like this. That's, but this is plain showing you how it's tied back to the molar. This is a 10,000 soft stainless steel wire that's put in here before you put your intruding wire in. Now this intruding wire is uh, round and so you couldn't torque with it at all. Now this one I'm showing is, is just on top of it on its rectangular up above. Now we'll go through the anterior part. This intruding wire is just tied on to these four anterior teeth, but the wire can't, is tied so the teeth can't move forward here in spaces. So as you put force on them, they tend to stay torqued pretty much like they are. So you won't have to use this torque very often, but you need to know how to do it. So we'll come in. Now this shows you the tie back again a little closer. It gives you an idea how to do it. And you put your director in here and shove this back real hard and tighten this wire up real good. And you can blanch the spaces in the teeth. You can pull them together like mad with that tie back on the arch wire. And it's a, we use it frequently. So now let's see. That's on the other side of the mouth. Same, same thing showing you the tie back. Now, let's see, I jumped forward too much. Okay, here is our first showing of the rectangular wire that has this reverse torque in it right across these four front teeth out here. So, <coughs> in case you don't know how to put torque in there, this segment of the wire has to be torqued. In other words, the wire going in there will be, instead of just having it straight like this, it's torqued like that. Now the slot that it's going into, say it will be more or less straight where the bracket is on the tooth you see and the tooth will be angled back like this now you flex this wire and here's the face of the tooth and here this is a bracket right here and you slide it into this slot on the, the bracket right up here now this wire is twisted like that in this segment and it's going to tend to bring the root of the tooth forward. Now you look at the tooth and if it's tended to dump forward you need more torque or you need torque. The intruding force is coming down like that. It's out in front of this point of contact. And so it's going to tend to bring the crown forward and the torque is tended to bring the root forward. And you want to keep it going straight down through the bone structure here of the jaw. And you want this tooth to intrude straight down like this. Then you regulate the pressure that you're putting on it here against the torque that you've got in the wire. And you can put the, this root exactly where you want it, but you've got to learn how to put torque in an arch wire. And that's not just real easy to do. We actually spin the wire off with a certain amount of torque, and then we take it out back here where this is no torque. And this, this segment of the wire here has maybe six or I mean seven or eight or ten degrees of torque in it depending on how much you need. In other words you can 
flex this this is a 017 uh, arch wire or 17 thousandths uh, instead of an 018 is what our bracket size is but we use a 017 wire so you put a little bit more torque in it and it fits in the wire good and it'll push this wire when you bend it down it'll push up on this and down on this this part right here and it tends to put this reverse torque in that root that's a little hard to get and uh, but you you really need to learn that but you don't have to use it much if I can get you to use the intruding wire without that it, it makes, make sure you tie your arch wire back when you've got space in that uh, then you can still do the intruding wiring if you don't learn how to do this but you really ought to learn how to do that so you can control the torque completely on any case you want. In other words, you can have these teeth leaning however you want to have them in here. And you can do that up above too and you have the teeth in your inner incisal angle. You can get it just like you want it and you can angle these teeth into that part. So you do that by learning how to torque that. Now there's a certain amount of torque built into the arch wires, but it frequently is not enough to do this properly in here. So here this intruding arch wire that torques the lower anterior teeth, or you can build one to torque the upper four anterior teeth. Uh, and here it is across the now the thing you have to remember too in here is this rectangular wire has to go down in the slot of the bracket. So you loosen your other wire, take it out, and it's piggyback. Your regular arch wire here is piggybacked on top of the rectangular wire as you go across here. And then it goes back into the bracket like you have over there. But the rectangular wire is inside the bracket. Just remember. And this one comes on top. Of course, if you want to torque these teeth, you got to have a rectangular wire in the slot of the bracket. It's just uh, sometimes we forget and don't tell you exactly all, every little thing you have to do. But that's necessary to do if you want to um, torque these four anterior teeth. And leave the cusp alone here. Okay. Uh, this is just the intruding wire is exactly the same back at the back. But that segment in front has to go up to get in the teeth. All right, there is a set of teeth without any arch wire in here, and you've got this torquing arch wire there. Now, normally we would have a regular arch or your small arch wire in there, and then come on top over here, and that is on top of it, and go back into the brackets over there. This is a I'm going to type it out and it's showing you the teeth underneath there. And that's the end of this video, but uh, this was necessary for me to add this video, so you need to go through it as well as the other one to learn how to use these intruding arch wires. I hope you've uh, gotten something out of this. Uh, I Hope that it'll work for you. If you learn how to bend the wire, you can really do turn your anything you want to to these teeth. So I'm gonna close up the deal and.